Hello friends, welcome to BMH Learning. This is the fourth part in the lecture series of endocytosis. Links for the previous episodes are pasted in D box. This tutorial will deal with very important type of endocytosis known as receptor mediated endocytosis. The other types of endocytosis we have discussed so far they were non-specific but receptor mediated endocytosis provides a mechanism for selective uptake of specific macromolecules so in this process a particular macromolecular ligand binds to a specific cell surface receptor which is distinctly available for the ligand in question now let's know the detail of the mechanism in order to have a clear picture of this pathway i have divided it into several steps the first step is the ligand receptor binding so the ligand binds to the receptor now these receptors they are mainly concentrated in clathrin coated pit before we go ahead you must gather some knowledge regarding clathrin coated pit so the clathrin coated pits are specialized patches at the plasma membrane where most of the receptors are concentrated actually from these pits only the vesicle starts forming through invagination and then buds off now the cytoplasmic surface of these pits is coated by clathrin proteins and that's how they are referred as clathrin coated pits actually the binding of the ligand to the receptor is mediated by adapter proteins which are known as ap and the coat proteins are referred as clathrin now how this is done for that you can find in the d-box content related to vesicle formation and fusion then next step is the vesicle formation and the endocytosis so from this clathrin coated pit the bud starts to invaginate and the complex of the ligand and the receptor is endocytosed now for this vesicle to reach its target we jump to step 3 which is the vesicle release so for the release of the vesicle we have a protein that's called as dynamin which helps in cutting of the vesicle from the membrane now in order to fuse the vesicle with the target the V snares which are not shown in this diagram must be exposed so for this we follow the step 4 the loss of clathrin coat and AP here the clathrin and AP proteins are disassembled this step ensures that coat proteins and AP are not depleted so therefore are available to be used for next round now it's time for the vesicle to fuse with the endosome and at this point the fifth step comes into play so the ligand and the receptor both are separated but the question is how so the pH of the endosome is slightly acidic which is maintained by the continuous action of VATPase that pumps H positive ions into the endosome and this action of the ATPase is not accepted by ligand receptor complex and hence they prefer to get separated from each other 
now we move to the sixth step so from here the ligands proceed to the lysosome for final treatment now what about these receptors and the vesicle so now the focus must be shifted to the seventh step and from here we are moving this subcellular body to the plasma membrane and this movement leads us to the eighth step so both the vesicle and the cell membrane fuse here and by doing this we have recycled the membrane then next one is the exocytosis so certain unnecessary or the waste products are released into the extracellular fluid finally it's time for the last step and here the receptors are recycled this was all thanks for watching